So here we have our patient. As I mentioned, uh, it's left arm. Her, she has uh, decreased mobility. Let's just try a different ranges of motion. Could you puedes levantar tu brazo así? Okay. Aquí. Okay. And in in this movement, there's no problem. In this uh, direction, puedes hacer en esta dirección hacia arriba. Aquí, así siento como. Okay. So at about 90 degrees, the pain begins. Puedes más? Oh. So she has a very limited range of motion. At about 90 degrees, the pain begins, and she can only bring her arm uh, to about oh, 120 degrees. Uh, you, oh. So arriving here, what is the pain level? I would say like eight. Oh, she speaks English. <laughs> so eight. Okay. <laughs> so when you arrive here, the pain level is eight. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to do a full diagnosis and I'll, I'll, I'll mention if I see meridians or what element or, or, or obstacles. Ah, oh, wait, okay. Uh, uh. Okay. No, just here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, belly button here? Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, here is a case of predominance of ether due to a deficiency in the yin form of earth. That's just the name of the diagnosis. She also has the lower right uh, chong mai is closed. Uh, one of the extraordinary meridians, lower right quadrant. And let's see, meridians. Ah, okay. So, so she has a lot of, uh, not important exactly which, but it's a uh, well, spleen, liver, uh, and kidney are closed. So we have different levels. The most superficial, she has several meridians closed in her right leg. Uh, in terms of organs, at least she has a uh, front spleen alarm, and she has a lower right quadrant of Chiang Mai. You don't need to understand this exactly, but I'm just showing uh, different levels of treatment. So I'm going to treat her on the elemental level, and let's see which levels this, this affects. When the dominoes begin to fall, let's see if it affects level of the obstacle, level of meridian, and the symptomatic level. Okay. How's that now? Doesn't hurt. Okay. okay. How about here now? Wow. Okay. Ah, puedes poner cara para que puedan ver. So we've treated her on the elemental level. I've only treated the first domino, just the first domino. So um, I'm going to put in my sweeper. So we see it first. Fine. Okay. Okay. So we've all, all all that I know is I have treated the first domino. I don't know if it has affected all of the other levels. It's possible if the obstacle didn't fall, it will not reach the meridian. Let's see. Is the obstacle? Ah, see. Chong Mai, okay. And the meridians. So we can see. We threw the first domino, the element. It has taken away an obstacle, an extraordinary meridian. It's also opened the meridians in the legs. Now for the big test. Let's see how her shoulder is doing. Puedes mismo lo que estabas haciendo aquí? There's still limited range of motion. But it doesn't hurt. It's, it's like it slides. So she says the, the pain is gone, but there's still a limited range of motion. So let's give it a couple, a few seconds to see. Because I, I do not want to treat on the superficial level, on the symptomatic level, unless it's necessary. So let's give her one more minute. 
Sometimes uh, with this type of problem, with many, uh, it needs time for the muscle to disinflame or for various changes to occur on the physiological level. What is, what about, uh, can you try again? Oh, there it goes. Ah, oh, okay. It still hurts a little bit. So she's saying she now has a much better range of motion, but there is pain when she arrives at this level. So we're not getting this 100%, but the pain began at 90 degrees. Now it's beginning at about 140 degrees. Can you try one more time? Ah, okay. Ah, yeah. <laughs> So it took maybe a minute for the change to occur.